Hello, welcome back to How to D&D. Today it's live streaming because we are doing character building and the sorcerer. I thought the sorcerer was a good topic to cover. Uh, so hopefully you will have a good time as we build a character together. This is what the whole purpose of this live stream is, where we get together each week and we build a character. Um, <clears throat> now we're not just building a sorcerer. We will be building the sorcerer to level three which means that my normal presentation is going to be a lot shorter. I will just be talking specifically about the process of building a, the basics around the sorcerer, and then we'll go straight into character building, because we will need additional time to be able to make that work. I'm going to put up a poll and give you an opportunity to have a respond to that. Um, <clears throat> remember, you can't change your vote once you've done that, so uh, yeah, make sure you're sure about your response. Now my, um, I'm a bit nasally again, uh, the, ch the weather has changed here and uh, apparently I can get worse than I was before. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> we'll, see, uh, we'll see how we go, this is going to be an interesting, an interesting time. So let's s switch over here, get all my bits and pieces ready. Make sure you have some food and drink uh, and you're comfortable, make sure you have dice and pen and pencil. And uh, maybe have your phone open while we're doing the character building, while you're looking at your laptop or desktop or a piece of paper if you're building your own character. Just some suggestions, uh, just in with regard to how this program works. Okay. Let's see. I think I've just about got it all right. All right, so it should all be working perfectly fine now. <clears throat> well, I hope so anyway. All right, let's uh, let's rock and roll. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. Today's all about character building. We're going to go over the basics of building a sorcerer, and of course, we will in fact build a sorcerer as well. That is my intention. So the first thing you want to know about building a sorcerer is Charisma should be your highest ability score because it's directly connected to how well you can use your sorcery magic. It's wise to increase your Charisma score to 20 reasonably quickly. And then Constitution and Dexterity are your second most important ability scores because it relates to how long your sorcerer survives in a battle. Now when it comes to picking proficiencies in a skill, I would suggest the following. Persuasion, Deception, Intimidation, and Arcana skills. Uh, now, you can have a much wider breadth of skills with a sorcerer. It's far more flexible than something like a wizard. And, uh, and I would, again, reiterate that something like your Charisma skills, you're probably going to be stronger and better at doing than other types of skills you'll pick up. Select at least one damage-dealing cantrip uh, that has a good range. Uh, the best... And I would say the best thing to do after taking that uh, damage dealing cantrip is to use the rest of your cantrips as utility. Okay, this gives you the best balance for the game and more flexibility in terms of options within the, the play style that you'll be engaged in. So things you want to pick up are Mage Hand, Minor Illusion, Prestidigitation, Message, Mending and Light. You only get two first level spells at character level one, so ensure you have mage armor. I'm going to say mage armor or shield, and then you want to have magic missile or sleep. So you won't get too many, and I'm just basically giving you two options. These are probably the outstanding spells within the first level um, uh, selection for a sorcerer. Now, additional spells beyond first level that you might want to pick up, the better first level spells are Mage Armor, of course, Magic Missile, Shield, Detect Magic, Charm Person, Thunder Wave, and Sleep. Selecting the best uh, meta magic options at level 3, usually there's only three that I can think of that stand out, and those are Quicken Spell, Twinned Spell, and Subtle Spell. Now, Subtle Spell might not be obvious, but as soon as you start using your Charisma skills, Subtle spell and casting spells that require you to speak and be devious in some way, you will need subtle spell. The best feats for a sorcerer will generally be war caster, so that you can concentrate on those spells better, and it gives you some other benefits. Lucky is good for any class. Alert, again, good for any class. 
inspiring leader, and then a ritual caster, because you're not a ritual caster as a sorcerer, and it's nice to have spells that you don't use up your spell slots. And then tough. And those would be the selections that I would set and pick up first if I was going to build a sorcerer at, say, first level. Now, I'm hoping this was useful to you, and if it was, fantastic. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm kind of drowning in my own um, phlegm right now, which is disgusting, I know. Um, but I needed to contend with it. Hello, how's it going, evil minion? Um, you're going to lose sound on me for just a second because um, I'm really struggling a little bit. So I need to clear the nasal passages. And then we'll go straight into the process of building a character. I will certainly answer questions, but it looks like it's very quiet today. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas, so I'm kind of aware that we're going to... Okay, so hopefully you can now hear me. The sound should have returned. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> we're going to be using D&D &D Beyond today. For those of you who are sort of curious as to what I'm going to use in terms of a platform, that is the platform I will use. We're going to build a level 3 character rather than a level 1 character. And I'll just bring up uh, on my phone the live stream. And then we'll get started, okay? So <clears throat> I usually get the chat to make decisions uh, rather than making the decisions myself with regard to character building. Uh, the only pre prerequisite in this case is that I will be uh, restricting things to level three. Hashtag. Um, get ready. Let's see if this thing is actually working properly. Is that actually working properly? Ready? No, that doesn't work. Big buttons, small, f uh, well, small fingers. No, big fingers, small buttons. Okay, let's see if this comes through. This will tell me if it's actually working properly. <clears throat> Get ready. Here we go. All right, so shuffling over to our main screen for today. Um. Mm -mm. I'm going to need my glasses for this. It's going to be one of those days. It's fine. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay, so that is, should be working. Uh, am I in the right position? I think it's all set up, so it should work fine. Right, there we go. There we are. All right. <clears throat> You'll need dice. You'll probably need to uh, remember to make decisions because I usually get people to make decisions as we do these sorts of things. In the past, I've always done that. Also, too, with today's um, character building, we will be using all the options, the, the free ones and the paid versions as well. So if you're wanting to be able to build a character and you don't want to have to use um, paid stuff, um, I'm going to expand things out a little bit <clears throat> just because, one, we can, and, and two... Um, uh, there are ways of getting access to the things um, on here that you might want to access <laughs> without uh, having to pay for everything. Um, although I'm not going to encourage that. Delete. Okay, so we're going to delete this. <clears throat> Hello, Noroak. Noroak is a patron and a uh, supporter of the channel. Um, thank you for showing up. Hello, how's it going? Um, also, too, to continue this program running, the best way to support it is on Patreon. Pay as little as a dollar a month. You get everything that I put up on Patreon, but you also support the continuation of these live streams. They are vital for ensuring that they do succeed and continue into the future. All right. <clears throat> so we're not going to build a character from this point. We're going to go back. I'm going to go down to my campaigns and we're going to go into um, view campaign and I'm part of somebody else's campaign I'll be making a character within that um, 
and I create an unassigned character. That's what we'll do. Confirm. Yes, I do. I want to do that. I want to make an unassigned character. <coughs> so we're going to turn on most stuff. We're not turning on homebrew. Um, we should be moving across fairly quickly now. It's YouTube's trying to catch up. Uh, we can turn on Critical Role stuff. Um, homebrew content, we'll leave that alone. Magic the Gathering, Eberron, we'll turn that on. Rick and Morty, Non-Core, Dragonlance will be turned on as well. Um, okay, my face is not in the way. We will turn on optimal, op, uh, optional, character, um, optional class features. We'll turn that on. Dice rolling is turned on if we want to do that. And customize your origin will also be turned on. So we're going to turn on a lot of different features. We're going to go to milestones. Uh, instead of XP, we're going to use milestones because this is the, the advancement of your character. I'm the dungeon master and I use um, that particular method. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> we're going to have prerequisites, so we'll, we'll we will leave feats and multiclassing on, but <clears throat> I I don't actually plan to do any multiclassing. <clears throat> we're just doing a straight um, for level three um, sorcerer build. Okay, we're not doing anything um, uh, clunky like multiclassing. One because multiclassing in five e is extremely poorly designed, and. Uh, and two, it's a level of complexity that we will deal with in the future. All right, encumbrance type. Uh, we're going to leave using encumbrance on. Uh, we're going to ignore the coin weight. We don't need that. Now, this is the ability score and modifier. The ability score you hardly use. The modifier, as I've said in the past, we use the modifier more for our abilities. So we're going to have that at the top, and that will be the biggest number. That's this. It's the small number. We want it larger so we can actually see it. And it's going to be public because I don't care if you guys can see this. Um, I need a character name. So hashtag create a character name. Hashtag create a name. We need a name. Right. Now, there are a couple of different ways that we can actually create a name. If you don't, if you don't uh, provide a name uh, in the chat, and that is we can go to Fantasy Name Generator. It's just underneath here. You'll see it says, uh, just under where it says character name, it says uh, names by Fantasy Name Generator. It's a very good website, gives you a lot of different options. I highly recommend utilizing it if you can because it does it does help. If you get stuck, it will help, okay? Uh, the other thing is you can have a randomized option. You just press the randomize button and it creates a random name. Innovation. What a strange name for a character. But North Oak has put in a name, so I'm going to take that. If I see somebody put in a name or a suggestion or an option <clears throat> that is not normally the per, um, um, one of the, the regulars in my group, so if you're new, I'm going to take your name over the names that they put in. And I know that my patrons and those who are regulars here will totally understand. Uh, so don't feel like if just because North um, Noroak has put his name in that you can't do your own, you can't suggest a name as well. Um, within reason, of course. Okay. Elena, spell sunder. Okay, we'll go with Elena, spell sunder for now. We're not going to uh, use the portrait option yet. There is a little plus sign with a little portrait image that we can do later on once we know a bit more about this character. Right now, we don't really know what they are. Okay, so this is race. We're going to use all the races. So you can pick a race, hashtag um, pick. A race you can pick any race people it doesn't matter what you pick okay they're now calling it all are welcome to participate the this is part of the proof and this is why I run these live streams is so that you can participate with me and you're part of the process of building a character so it becomes easier for you okay so pick a race I will call out all the different races that are available we're using every single one there are no restrictions because this isn't actually for a campaign, so I don't need to set any restrictions, do I? Um, I'm not running a particular campaign. We might probably be using this character, so you can create anything you like. Um, half elf for Noroak. Okay, so let me go through them, and that gives people time to make a vote, and you see how we go. We've got Arakokra, either one of them, the old version, new version, Azamar, Air Genasi, Astral Elf, that's from Spelljammer, the Autonome, Bugbear, Centaur, Changeling. 
the custom lineage I prefer not to do that because that's a bit complicated but we can do it if you want deep gnome uh, dragonborn Duragar, dwarf the elf genasi of uh, the earth genasi um, the Eladrin, uh the elf there are 13 of them the fairy furbolg fire genasi um, then we got the gif which is hippo people uh, and the gif the, we've got the gif and then we've got the gif kind of sounds the same githyanki githsarai gnomes um goblin goliath two versions here grug hidozi flying monkey basically half elf half orc halfling haragon it's a rabbit person uh hobgoblin human oh don't want that um <laughs> uh Kalishtar, the kendu this is from dragon lance uh, the Kenku, which is bird people, uh, we've got the Kobold, the Leonin, which is like a lion person from Mythic Odysseys or Theros. Uh, then we have lineages, don't worry too much about that. Um, we've got the Lizard Folk, um, Lokatha, I think that's right, Loxodon, which is elephant people, uh, Minotaur, Orc, Owlin, which is basically an owl person, uh, Plasmoid, which is if you want to play an ooze, you can, if you want to be an oozy person. Uh, the Sata, the, the, the Sea Elf, these are the Sharakai, <laughs> Shifter, um, Simic Hybrid, Tabaxi, this cat person. Um, <laughs> Thycreen, this is an insect person. Um, Tiefling, Tortle, you want to be a you, you want to be a Tortle, you can be a Tortle. Triton, uh, we've got the uh, Vulcan basically. <laughs> we've, got, we've got two Vulcan versions. Uh, Warforged, Water Genasi. <laughs> You aren't tea and you aren't pure blood. So let's have a look and see what we have here. Um, I changed to centaur. So you want to go centaur instead. Uh, those pesky humans. Exactly. You want to get rid of them. So what did... Um, so, so we've got here evil minion. Based on Elena's last name, I'd be disappointed if they don't have uh, have shatter. Well, I mean, that's that's not the issue. I think the issue is more is, well, what are we going to build? And at this present time, it looks to me like it's going centaur. Centaur. Oh, no, no, no. Somebody, somebody who... Uh, I've seen Maurice before, but Maurice will take your tiefling. We will take your tiefling. I was about to select the centaur. Noro had said centaur, so I was almost going to do it. But you got in there. Okay, there's a lot of choices between the centaur. So that was just one choice. You can't just say... T I'm, I'm, tiefling and that's it because there are 12 options of tiefling uh here exactly there's the feral tiefling the variant feral tiefling the variant tiefling the belzebub tiefling the dis <laughs> dispatter tiefling the uh, ferna the glass glacier the oh god menamon menamon viral zeral like, there's a bunch of them. Like, if there's a specific one you would like, since the legacy content is available here, you can let me know. Otherwise, I'll just pick the standard basic one. Okay? All right. You'll let me know if I need to make a choice change. Right now, that's where we're going. This is this is the choice. Maurice has made that choice. It's done. Um, might have to go back. We'll see. Okay, so, so given this... And what we've got, now did I do, uh, so we're going to be using the basic standard one. Yes, no, yes, no. Sorcerer, adventurer. Mountain dwarf, optional feature for plus, plus two charisma. Uh, yeah, we, we could do that, but I think we're going tiefling. Um, oh, hang on. Sorcerer, adventurer. I haven't heard, have we seen you before, sorcerer, adventurer? We haven't seen you before. Ah, I don't know what GD and GTG means. I don't know what GTG means, but we might since since I'm 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 not that far into it. Oop, we'll go back here, and can we change the race? We can. We can go mountain dwarf if you like. Mountain dwarf. Oh, everybody's retracting everything now. Just tuned in. Right. Well, we're going to take mountain dwarf for you, mate. Uh, mate, lady, uh, whatever. Uh, okay, uh, let's get it done. Mountain Dwarf, basic. We should do that. That should go there. We've got all this. We should have everything turned on. 
And then we need to pick a tool proficiency. We've got dark vision already. We've got dwarven resilience, but all the dwarven combat training, and I believe. Hello, sorcerer. Yes, welcome to the live stream. You got to go. Okay, evil minion. I'll see you later. Thank you. Now I know what got to go means. You have a good day. All right, tool proficiency. We're going to pick a tool proficiency. Dwarven, uh, get brewer's supplies, mason's tools, or smith's tools. Pick a tool. Hashtag. Hashtag. Pick a tool proficiency. Okay, we're waiting for some votes to come in. There are, as I said, there are three to pick from. You get either Brewer's Supplies, the Mason's Tools, or the Smith's Tools. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I'm not particularly partial to either one. It's really completely up to you. So while you are deciding on that, the other things that our Mountain Dwarf get is Stone Cutting. And we get the Dwarven Armor Training. Okay. So uh, that's uh, that's what we've got here. Brewers, evil minion. Okay, let's take the brewers. Let's because let's keep it moving because we've got uh, we've got we've got spells to pick as well. We're going to level three, so it's going to be necessary. Right, moving on. Bam. Um, oh, did I do the right thing there? Origin manager. Uh, here we go. So now I believe sorcerer had said just a brewers is for social settings. Yes, very social. <laughs> Um, now you had said here, Mountain Dwarf optional feature for plus, okay, or, origin, original, da da da, choose an ability score to increase by two, instead of the previously granted constitution, okay, that's that one, um, the origin proficiency, so there's a whole lot of things we can actually, we can control quite a lot of stuff here. Choose an ability score to increase by two instead of the previously granted strength increase. Okay, so this is the one I think you were after. All the other ones we'll just we'll just keep as they are. So we're only messing around with one thing. Um, set ability scores, all ability score increase, original origin. Choose an ability score to increase by two instead of granting. Okay, so let's, we'll, we'll we'll make that make those both optional strength and. The constitution so that you've got a bit of versatility people okay all right seems about right i think i got it right sweet moving on all right so we're going to go sorcerer it's a lot of different sorcerers people um we're not going to level four we're going to level three so we will be picking um an archetype <clears throat> so right over here you'll see it says level one and we can go down and we can pick level one two three four you just pick your level here so we're going to level three Dinomancer, hello, how are you doing? Um, we've got the optional feature manager here, which we can control if we want to, which I'm not going to worry too much about. I don't think we need to do that. Um, okay, we'll turn that on, and we'll turn this on just in case. These are the optionals. This is the additional source of spells, and then source of spells are here, adding there. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so... What I want to do is I want to determine our hit points. We're going to press. The, I'm going to press the manage hit points section, but it's nice to actually roll hit points sometimes. So I'm going to let you roll the hit points, because it's a sorcerer at first level. We're going to take maximum hit points, which is going to be six. So I want you to roll two d six. Hashtag. Roll. Two, d six. So we'll roll the hit points. I'm gonna. I'm the dungeon master. I'm letting you roll hit points today, people. And I don't even require you to show me what they are. Just uh, if if I see a six 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 show up there, I'll be starting to think there's something up. Um, but we'll see how we go. A variant, the variant tiefling. Oh, you meant the variant tiefling? We're we're going we're going to go. Um, I mean, I would have been happy, but uh, since we had somebody jump in here who I haven't seen before. Say Mountain Dwarf, we'll go Mountain Dwarf, it's all cool. Okay, a five and a four. A five and a four, so we go to our Manage. We don't do our Constitution just yet. Fixed, Override, HP, Modifier. Uh, we'll worry about that later. So we're going to be going four and five and a six. That's a 15 in total. 15, so it's going to be a little bit higher. Not the end of the world. Okay, apply it. 
So you can change your hit points manually in here if you're rolling for them. Yeah, just uh, generating um, AI art for my D&D games. Got my uh, PCs killed on Friday. Oh, as, yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> okay, let's go down and do some proficiencies. We've got to pick some proficiencies. We've got a lot of stuff here already that we get automatically, but we get two skills, so pick a skill. A chunky dwarf, hashtag. Pick a skill. Okay, pick a skill. Um, I'm going to need two skills. Um, I have already told you with regard to um, selecting your class that you have a lot of variation. There's nothing wrong with going arcana or deception or persuasion, intimidation. Like, you know, I think the only ones that are, are a little bit out of the a little bit odd, I say religion, um, and even maybe insight, but even insight sort of can be tied in. So there's, there's a lot of choices. I think I had listed off four, but performance is not an option. It, it is, we're dealing with skills for the class. So performance, you'll have to, we'd, we'd have to pick up performance somewhere else in a, some other, in some other manner. So performance, so Noroak is not going to work. <laughs> Okay, you've got those choices. It says here, skills, choose two from arcana, deception, insight, intimidation, persuasion, and religion. So, and performance won't do it. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? History. Come on, people, read the, read the section. You're picking a class. What options do you get? Okay. This is, not a, this is not a custom homebrew class. It's a specific class. And it says here, you choose two, arcana, deception, insight, intimidation, persuasion, and religion. And we, we've, we've managed to have everybody pick anything other than any of the ones they're actually supposed to be picking from. How, how did you manage to do this, people? Insight. Okay, thank God. All right, persuasion and arcana. We're going to go with Maurice. Maurice was paying attention. Persuasion and Akana. I'm, I'm going to take both of you, both of yours. <laughs> uh, persuasion and Akana. Here we go. There we go. Those are those are the ones we're picking. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Insight is definitely on the list. Well done. <laughs> uh, taking a RL um, to Baxi. Persuasion Akana. Okay. All right. It's all right. Brewer supplies. Well, maybe, maybe now. So sorcerer origin. We're going to have our Sorcerer Origin. So you can pick your Sorcerer Origin. Hashtag. And you get to pick any of the official stuff, not some sort of um, weird, wacky, homebrew thing that you've heard of or seen on the internet. Pick a Sorcerer. Sorceress Origin. Sorcerer's Origin. Origin. Come on, Fred. Man, these, these buttons are so... This is so small, and those buttons, and, and my fingers are so big in comparison. They, they've got to do something about that. Like, normal people do not have tiny fingers. And pressing everything with a, with a pen, like, ugh, come on. It's the reason why we have fingers in the first place. Um, Tasha's is hell. What? Okay, Wild Magic, Clockwork Sorcerer, Evil Minion, you, you're probably going to be getting it, as if that's your choice, we go Clockwork. Um, I'm fine with that, Clockwork is, is good, we'll do that, that's fine, no, what, no problems, Clockwork it is. So, what do we get, we've got Clockwork Magic, uh, you learn a few additional spells by the looks, and there they are. Uh, Manifestation Aura, okay, and then Restoring Balance, we get... Connection to the plane, okay, and you get a, what is this, this is a, when a creature you can see within 60 feet of you is able to roll, um, is, is able to roll a d20 with advantage or disadvantage, you can use your reaction to prevent the roll, oh, that seems like a cruel thing to do to somebody, okay, font of magic, that's pretty standard, isn't it, a little bit of flexibility there, but uh, it's about, I think it's about the same, isn't it, yeah, it's the same, and then we've got our meta magic, uh, which we'll be picking up, um, 
Seeking spell, transmute spell. So we might be able to pick them. So now we're going to pick some metamagic options. Okay, so we have a few more options than normal. Hashtag. Sorcerer Adventurer. You wanted Clockwork as well. Well, it looks like we've got a Clockwork um, Dwarf. Clockwork Sorcerer Dwarf. Hashtag. Pick Metamagic. Metamagic. Come on, Fred. Put the word in. Pet. Pick meta magic. There we go. All right, so I will tell you what the options are. I kind of have already told you, but I will tell you again. You have careful spell, distant spell, empowered spell, extended spell, heightened spell, quickened spell, seeking spell, subtle spell, transmuted spell, and twin spell. And now we're going to get two. So you can you can put in two votes, but I would prefer you to put in one vote, and I will just pick um, the, the first two that come through, um, essentially. Unless, of course, um, we get somebody um, commenting that's as new, then I'll probably override anything that's been voted for in the past. Um, too bad we couldn't get Trinkets Tools. It goes well with the Clockwork Soul. But remember, we're getting a background as well. So you, 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 what background, think about it, what background would work nicely if you wanted to do that? If you really wanted to go from, I, I was an, an unmagical tinkerer who used to make um, clockwork things or make devices, um, what, would, what would have given me something like that kind of tool? Like what would have given me tinker's tools? There's also the opportunity to make a background if necessary. Okay, so we've got Twin Spell. Oh, Ethan, hello, Ethan, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Um, so we've got Twin Spell, Subtle Spell, Quicken Spell, and Twin Spell. So we're going to go with Twin Spell. Ethan's got Twin Spell down, so we'll take that. North Oak, Nor, Nor, Nor Oak has taken that as well. How's it going, David Scott? How are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to say Evil Subtle Spell as well. So we'll go Subtle Spell, and we'll go Twin Spell. And where's the twin? There we go. So we've got some options. Sweet. Those are all our selections done. And we should be able to move on. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. That should be right. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Um, we are going to be doing some adjustment with our ability scores, the increases we have control over. But we're going to do a generation method. Now, we have a couple of different ways we can do this. So hashtag... And I'm happy for you to roll dice if you want to. Um, so one is select select an ability score generation method. Now there are three we can use. We can use standard array. I'm going to allow last standard array point by and rolling manually. Now I can roll the dice at my point, at my end if you would like, or you can go and find six-sided dice, four six-sided dice, and you can roll them. We've done this before; it works out quite well. That's kind of fun. Um, I don't have an issue doing it. Quite happy to do it again, in fact. Um, so yes, uh, tell me what you would like. More than happy to have you roll dice if you would like to roll up the ability scores. And then I will just note them down, which I should have a piece of paper for. And apparently I don't. What is that? Uh, is that a piece of paper over there? Mm, maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That'll do. What has this got? Anything important written on this piece of paper? There are bits of paper everywhere in my office. Uh, ah, again, so Noroak would like to roll. So you've got some dice ready. Um, and of course, if anybody else... Ethan, roll or point by would allow the most customization. Uh, I mean, so, 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 he, so here's, here's the thing. I, I don't do power building here, okay? Um, and I'm not looking for um, anything specific. Remember, I'm trying to make this fun. We're doing it together. So I'm happy for us to go rolling or point by Ethan. You said roll, so we can roll. Noroak said roll. Nobody else has mentioned anything. We'll go with roll. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to roll the dice, but I need you to roll the dice, people. You have to roll the dice. I'm going to take down the numbers here and your name. 
I know you have dice ready, um, Norak. You know how I run my streams. I have people rolling dice all the time. <clears throat> Evil Minion would like to roll, even if standard um, uh, array fits the clockwork theme. Uh, we don't know what we're going to get from our rolls. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't think the, 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 the process of rolling or standard array or point by has really any bearing on the class or the type of class you're playing, or the, the subclass you're playing. I don't think there's any connection whatsoever. So roll some dice, people. Okay, you've already got some numbers coming through. I'll put a roll for d6. I'll take down Noroak's numbers now <clears throat> and do the calculation. And uh, one. So I need, I need six set, sets of uh, numbers, people. So you're going to have to roll fairly quickly. Otherwise, I'll have to roll them. Noroak. Noroak, you have got a five, a six, a one, and a two. So we drop the lowest number when we roll four dice. And I will drop the one. It comes out at a, what is that, a 11, 13. 13 is fine. Ethan's rolled some dice. Oh, good. Here we go. Now we're rolling. Ah, we've got everybody's involved. Ethan, I'll get your numbers down. Ethan's got a four, a six, a three, and a four. So we drop the three because it's the smallest and lowest number, and we wind up with a 14. That's pretty good. So six, four, and four is 14. And then I think that was right. <clears throat> sorcerer, sorcerer, <clears throat> adventurer. Ah, here we go. We got now. Everybody's in. Now we got it going. Ah, we're now we're rocking. Okay, sorcerer, adventurer. You have a four, a four, a five, and a five. So we have to drop one of the fours. We take the five, and the five is ten, and the four is a fourteen. It's a pretty high score. The next person, I'm going to need. I need two more people to roll dice, <coughs> if needed. Thank you, Nor um, Noroak, if, uh, if we run out of people to respond to. Evil Minion has got his numbers. Evil Minion, well done for getting us some uh, some low, nice low numbers here. It's always good to have something that's a little bit low. Okay, four, uh, so five, four, one, and one. So we cross out one of the ones. So it goes 10. It was actually not that low. We've had some much lower numbers. We had a three. I think we wound up with a three last week, which was a pretty low score. <coughs> Now, if nobody else is rolling dice, I will take uh, I'll take Noroak's second set of dice. So, those of you who've already rolled, um, you can put in another set of rolls because I need two more sets. Um, so, I'll take all your numbers, Noroak. Take your next set, which is a one, a three, a two, and a two. Sweet. Look, that's going to be a low number. So, we drop the one because it's the lowest number. Thank you. We are looking at a seven that is a seven a two and a two and a three and a seven wow nice job nice job <clears throat> did any of you um ethan sorcerer adventurer or evil minion like to roll another set of uh, dice if you if you would like to you might as well because nobody else is responding otherwise i can roll the last set if necessary because i have a dice roller the green button that says roll on D um, D and D beyond allows you to roll dice uh ethan's in there I oh, know sorcerer got in there. Well done. We'll take sorcerers. I didn't see yours come up, so boy, you guys were fast. <clears throat> sorcerer, you got a six, a six, a six, and a two. Jesus. All right, we'll get rid of the two. So that is a six, 12, 18. We've got an 18, an 18, and a seven in there. There is a still a, it's a pretty strong mix. So obviously what we're going to do, thank you um, Ethan and um, Evil Minion for throwing in your uh, your rolls too, okay? I do appreciate it. Don't feel like it's wasted. So let's input these numbers. We're going to go to Charisma because we're playing a, uh, a charismatic character. It's a sorcerer. The biggest number, the 18, should go there. I'm going to make that decision, okay? The next, next two highest numbers are... 14 and 14, and remember what you said about constitution and dexterity being really important? I'm just going to put them straight into that. Mm. Dexterity is a 14. Constitution is a 14. Now you're going to make some choices. 
Where do we put the seven? Ha 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 ha. Hashtag. Where to put the seven? That is the question. So <clears throat> we have three abilities we need to fill out. Where do we put our seven? We have a seven we have to use. We have to use that seven. It's got to go somewhere. So it go, is it going into strength? Is it going into intelligence? Or is it going into wisdom? There's a choice. So evil minion reckons strength. Okay, <clears throat> we can do that. I'm going to have a drink of water, give people time to respond. Noroak reckons wisdom. You want to dump, you want to dump the wisdom. Could be strength, could be wisdom. I mean, it, it, that's fine. It, it could be any one of those. It's all good. And then somebody else has said wisdom or int. Ethan said wisdom or int. Man, we, we've got a big, huge spread. Okay. All right. We're gonna, we'll gonna we take um, Evil Minion's um, suggestion since you haven't seen the Evil Minion before. So we'll go there. Strength is going to be a seven. Okay, so our last two numbers, we got a 10 and we got a 13. So where is the 13 going to go? Hashtag. Uh, where does the 13 go? We've already dealt with the lowest number we had. This is the next best number we've got. Where does the 13 go? Is it going to go into intelligence or is it going to go into wisdom? Intelligence wisdom intelligence wisdom one of those has got to be the choices now while this is all happening remember we still get to place some of our ability score increases because we're using the optional origin stuff uh, from tasha's so there's there's this flexibility with where we can place things we could place things in here and roll, roll up a character at level three that has a charisma of 20 if we really wanted to int so norok reckons int which is, is not a terrible idea. I, th I think that's relatively int, int for Arcana. Int for Arcana. Int it is. Int it is. We'll int it. Int for Arcana. So we're going to put in our 13. And our wisdom is just a nice standard 10. Nothing special. Nothing bad. Everybody seems to be happy. Um sort of thinking int is the way to go so that's fine good we got it so i've got our numbers in so this is we actually manually rolled now you can do this on D, &D beyond you can do exactly what i've just done you don't have to use their dice roller okay this eliminates the problem of you having to roll in front of your dungeon master so when you're using your webcam and you're pointing um, the webcam at your dice and you're rolling online then you can still do this and input it into your character builder when you need to okay all right, so now we're going to go and pick. We've got a couple of different choices. We can pick to put our, our plus two somewhere. Okay. Uh, now, is it plus two, plus two? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What have I done here? I have done something weird. Hello, Seeker, how are you? I believe in Tasha's, the choice is you get to move is it one of the ability scores? Can I remember what it is? Tasha's, where are you? Man, there are so many different systems floating around now. It's a plus one, plus two. So that we're not actually doing it that way. What are we doing here? What have I done here? Um, I need to go back and maybe turn off one of these things. I've turned on too many things. I've picked, oh, I was only supposed to pick one of these. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. So Mountain Dwarf, <clears throat> now Mountain, somebody had already mentioned Mountain Dwarf. Uh, one is for strength and one is for constitution on the dwarf, yes. Is Fred doing the, the new Dragonlance um, um, Sorcerer or another class? No, we're not doing the, nobody asked for the, uh, the Lunar Sorcerer um, as it happens. Um, I don't even think it showed up on D&D Beyond. I don't think it was an option. Maybe they haven't included it yet. So yeah, we haven't, we haven't, got, a, we haven't got a Lunar Sorcerer today. Um, thank you, source, uh, Sorcerer Adventurer. How's it going? So somebody had actually stated what they wanted to have happen with that before, um, which is fine with me. 
frankly, where were we? Let me just grab the dwarf, 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 mountain dwarf, mountain dwarf. Okay, mountain dwarf is. Mountain Dwarf is strength. You normally get constitution. Okay. All right. So, Tarshish. God, blimey. I, I knew I was going to have to have these books available. Customizing your origins. Taking time. Ability score increases. Okay. So, here's what we're looking at. If you like your character to follow their own path, you can da 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 blah, 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 blah. So, for example, if you have the ability score increased trait, um, of your race or sub race increase your constitution by two or your wisdom by two you could instead increase your intelligence by two and your so we can move both of them um, which means that your mountain dwarf is pretty broken is probably why it was selected in the first place um, I believe that uh, in the future mountain dwarves will get you either get a plus one and an, or a plus two or three plus ones so where do we want our ability score increases to be? Uh, so what hashtag, what ability scores, scores do we increase? Oh, increase, there we go. That is the question. All right, so while you're deciding on which ability scores we increase, we will uh, we will uh, sit here and so when the when we come back round in about two months and we're doing the sorcerer again because we'll go over the sorcerer and do another character build for that. When the if the people want to do the the lunar sorcerer, we can do that in about two months time, roughly. It'll probably be more like two and a half months because I'll be taking a two week break. Um, so that's that's fine. That's not an issue. Uh, the only difference is depending on how well these uh, build to level three um, streams work, that will determine whether we go to building to level five. Charisma con. I oh, so, okay. So we've got Nora. So Ethan, I'm going to take your con. We'll go con it. Con, we'll con it first. Con and charisma. Okay, that's what we'll do. Enjoy it while it lasts, because you, there won't be a table that's using these rules uh, like this in the future. When it comes to Mountain Dwarf, you'll get a plus one and a plus two, or, or, or three plus ones. <laughs> so, um, the time is now. <laughs> Here we go. So, we've got a 20 in our Charisma. Core Blimey, we've got a lot of Constitution. So, our Strength is a minus one modifier, because we, we didn't change it. It's still a seven. Dexterity is a 14, so it's a modifier is plus two. Our, now, this is the great, great thing about this thing, is it gives you a breakdown, shows you how the maths is done. Um, our base score is 14, but we increased it with our racial bonus of plus 2, so we get a, a nice old pump up to 16, so it's a plus 3 for our modifier. And then our intelligence, we selected 13, so that's a plus 1 modifier. And our wisdom, we selected a 10, so we get a 0 modifier. And then charisma, we had a 18, and then get a plus 2 racial bonus, and pushes us up to a 20. So this is a very, very OP character. Um, okay, so we're almost ready to proceed, I believe. Have I pressed all the buttons I needed to? I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I think we're all done. All right, so let's move on forward. Okay, so that is all of that done. We've done that. Um, origin, da, da, da. Background. We're going to pick a background. Hashtag. Pick background we need to have enough time to be able to um, select all our spells too people so the backgrounds that you can select are every single one of them i will read them out i know you can't see them all but i will read them out just give me a tick and a second i just need to drink some water let me uh digest and process is it process and digest i don't know it's one of those Okay, so these are the backgrounds, unless of course you've got one in mind already. We've got Acolyte, oh, can I read it? Acolyte, Anthropologist, Archaeologist, Astral Drifter, 
the athlete, the that, I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, Boris Legionnaire, uh, celebrity adventurer's scone, really. The charlatan. There's a whole bunch. City watch. Um, city watch. City watch. City watch. City watch. The clan crafter. Maybe clan crafter might work. Um, cloister scholar. The courtier criminal. Um, we've got a demir operative. We've got an entertainer. We've got the faceless, the faction agent, the failed merchant, <laughs> far traveler, fey lost, fisher, folk hero, gambler, gladiator, um, Gal 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 Galgori agent, the um, the grinner, the grull grull arkak, ankak ankak I think it is, the guild artisan. Guild artisan, maybe something we want to consider, you know, or guild merchant. The haunted one, the hermit. Uh, we've got house agents up the kaboo here. We've got inheritor, investor. Um, we've got an engineer, uh, is it engineer, the knight. There's a couple of different knights going on here. The law holds student, the mage of high sorcery. This is from uh, the new dra uh, dragon lance option. Uh, the, the marine, uh, mercenary, veteran, noble. Uh, Outlander, uh, Pirate, uh, Plaintiff, Prismere, Student, um, Quan Quandric, Student, what are these? I don't know, I don't know, is this something, is this Strixhaven? Um, we've got some choices coming through, Clan Crafter, Clan Crafter or Guild Artisan. Okay, Evil Minion, I think you've got, got me, so we'll, we're aiming for Clan Crafter and see what Clan Crafter gets, get, gets us, okay? How's that sound? Clan Crafter. What do we get for Clan Crafter? Well, we get History and Insight. Fine. And we those are the skills. And then we get access to a variety of things. And then we get we can take the Tinker's Tools now, people. So Clan, Clan Crafter would allow us to take the Tinker's Tools. So that's actually kind of works. For if, if you're doing a Clockwork Sorcerer and you wanted to have an origin. So when I was not a Sorcerer and I was not a Superhero... Apparently, I used to tinker with things, and this is kind of why my magic goes in that direction. Uh, it kind of works. Hashtag. Pick. Atul. Atul. No, that's a tull. I want a tull. Try a tull. Pick a tull. Okay. We are doing a clockwork sorcerer, mountain gnome... Uh, mountain Dwarf, not Mountain Gnome. God, mountain Gnome, really? Um, so we have Woodcrafter's Tools. We have Weaver's Tools. We have the Tinker Tools. So we can take the Tinker Tools, people. Smith's Tools, Potter's Tools, Painter's Supplies, Mason's Tools, Leatherwork Tools, the Jeweler's Tools, the Glass Blowing Tools. Do you, does anybody do that? Um, the Cooking Utensils, the Cobbler's Tools. The cartographer's tools, the carpenter's tools. Oh, I feel like I'm wood carving carpenters should have been just together. Um, ca calligrapher's tools, uh, the <sighs> alchemist tools. I think there's a lot. Tinker's tools. I think we're going to be doing the tinker tools. Unless somebody says something else, it's the tinker tools. Let's pick the tinker tools. Okay, now our languages. What do we get? We get dwarven. Well... That's our background language. Got it. Sweet. Respect of the stout folk. Um, we're going to soon lose all of these kind of cool background features and they'll be replaced with uh, primarily combat-focused feats that people will pick up because that's what they'll probably decide to have. As well, as well respected as clan crafters are among outsiders, no one esteems them quite so highly as dwarves do. You always have free room and board in any place where shield dwarves or gold dwarves dwell and the individuals in such a settlement might fire amongst themselves to determine who can offer you and possibly your compatriots the finest accommodations and assistance. So when so here's the problem with saying something like this. And this is where this particular um, feature probably needs to change. It should just simply state... Um, when you seek board in any place where there are dwarves, stating they had to be shield dwarves or gold dwarves is kind of silly. Do you know what I mean? Um, Ethan, yep, don't worry. Tinker's tools are there. 
and Sorcerers Adventure. We've got the Tinkers. We're tinkering it today. Uh, we can always pick up um, br the Brewers uh, thing later on if you really want to. Not a problem. Okay, so we've got that. We're all good. So we're moving along. Um, now, you need to roll some dice, people. We're going to do some personality traits, ideals, and bonds. You will not be seeing this in the future. They will be eliminating it. Um, so enjoy it while you can. Hashtag. Come on. Hashtag. Uh, roll. Can I just roll? Two. D8. No, I won't say 2d8. I'm just going to roll d8. Roll d8. Roll a d8. Just roll one, one d8 each, people. I need two personality traits. There's a table here. You do not need to select them after a dice roll. You can just pick what you like. You can, you can ignore this table completely and make your own thing. You can take what's there and you can modify it if you wanted to. There's a lot of different options there. We're going to also be rolling six-sided dice very shortly. So we got um, Noroak rolled a six, Evil Minion got an eight, and Dinomancer got a five. Chronix has rolled a five. Okay, um, I am going to take um, um, Evil Minion. I'm going to be taking your eight. So what is that? What is number eight? I'm well known for my work, and I want to make sure everyone appreciates it. I'm always taken aback when people haven't heard of me. Oh my gosh. Bit of an ego going on there. Let's take that one. Um, thank you for your contribution, people. Dynamancer, I see your number. Noroak, I see yours. Dungeons and Chronics, hello. How are you? I'm glad to see you here. Um, and Sorcerer's Ave Sorcerer Adventurer, since you are fairly new here, we're taking your number three. I'm a snob who like looks down on those who can't appreciate fine art. We're going to pick that one as well. Okay. Kind of, it's kind of fitting. Compared, we have we have three and eight going at the same time. They're they're going to be pff, a fairly nasty mix, if you ask me. So we're going to do the ideals, bonds, and flaws. That means we're rolling d sixes now. So hashtag hashtag roll a d six, and we will see what we get. We will see what we will see. You were cooking, Ethan. A three and an eight, they match well. Yes, it uh, it may well end up. We may have just created a a problem player, or should I say, not a play, problem player, but a problem character. This is the character that's going to potentially get kicked out of the party and wind up on the streets busking or begging for money um, because nobody's going to like them, or they're going to be working for themselves. Uh, <laughs> so Nora got a four. Uh, and we need ideals. I'm going to do ideals first, and then I'm going to do bonds, and then we'll do floor. We're only going to be taking one of each for today. I just need to take my glasses off because my eyes are just going bananas. So <clears throat> those of you who are new, um, unfortunately, you, you're not finished rolling dice. Um, if you, you thought you had, like, oh, I've rolled my last dice and during this live stream, I don't have to roll anymore. I'm sorry, but there's more. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Ethan, I'm going to take your one. Uh, Norok, I see your four. I'm waiting to see if the others do anything, okay? Ethan, we're going to take your one and put it into ideals. Aspiration, I work hard to be the best there is in my craft any. So we're going to pick that one. It's aspiration is the ideal. I'm waiting for a bond. Um, evil minion, what do you got here? Oh, okay. If someone hasn't gotten um, wasted off my brood, then... <laughs> <laughs> ah dear, nice one. You got a four. Evil minion. Dungeons and Chronics has rolled a one. I'm going to take the new new people's um, numbers. Um, Dungeons and Chronics and, and Noroak, Okay. Yeah, keep rolling. Keep rolling. We got more people. We we need another number. They know. Dungeons and Chronics and Noroak is trying to encourage you to roll the dice, people. If you haven't done it before with me. So number four for bonds is I pursue wealth to secure someone's love. I pursue wealth. Oh, okay. All right, let's do that. Our floor. If we don't get a a number, I'm gonna have to take um, I'm gonna have to take the number one, or I'm gonna have to take the I'll take Norok's number. Um, so I, I want one more number. All right. Okay, Norok, you have you've scored the the floor for today. We're gonna floor it. It's a number four. Number four is. 
No one must ever learn that I once stole money from guild coffers. Oh, you naughty boy, you. Um, uh, it's not boy, isn't it? It's a girl. It might well be a girl. You naughty girl. Elena? Elena? Elena spell Sundu? I think that's it. Naughty girl. Okay. Good for you. Uh, alignment. I'm just going to go neutral. We're not going to worry about that one. Uh, lifestyle. Pick a lifestyle. Okay. Let's do this. Hashtag. Pick a lifestyle. Lifestyle. Do, 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 do. Now, the lifestyles are the current. You can have wretched, squalid, poor, modest, comfortable, wealthy, aristocrat. So you can have whichever one you like. You just need to let me know which one you would prefer. Um, and that's what we will do. I will pick that one. Uh, aristocrat, it's, uh, it's 10 gold. Wealthy is 4 gold. Comfortable, your costs are 2 gold. Modest is a cost of 1 gold. Poor is a cost of 2 silver. Squalid is a cost of 1 silver. And wretched, there's no cost because you don't have any money. Ethan wants to go aristocrat. Okay. Ethan, your wish is my command. Done. We are done with that one. So we're going to go to physical um, characteristics. You can type in your characteristics here. It's up to you. I'm not going to worry about any of that. I'm going to move on to here. Now you'll see in here under your personality characteristics, that's the personality traits, ideals, bonds, flaws. You can edit this. There is a section that says in green button, edit traits. You can go in there and you can do whatever you like. Okay, and you can change it. Just like so. And then when you enter back out, it will have adjusted it. So very easy to do. You can go into your notes section. You can put notes in it. The little green button, um, button says add notes for your organizations, allies, enemies, your backstory and other stuff. So all of that stuff can be there. Yeah, the good life. Elena does sound like a, a good life person. All right, so it is top of the hour, but we're going to give you a choice before I go and do something. I want to pick an image too. So we've got our portrait here, so we'll pick that. Mountain Dwarf Elena. Where are you, Elena? Hmm. And a sorcerer. <laughs> Which one will it be? I don't want her in armor. Here we go. <laughs> I picked one. Yes, indeed. Evil. Evil little girl. Maybe not. Maybe she's not evil. Maybe she's just a bit twisted. Uh, a bit self-centered. Okay, equipment. This is good. This is this means I can actually go and do something while you guys pick the equipment. Hashtag. I'm going to punch in a whole bunch of instructions and you're going to just choose. Pick a simple weapon. You need to tell me what the simple weapon is. Or a light crossbow. Okay, that's the first thing I'm asking for. Next thing, I'm going to go straight down to the next thing. Pick, hashtag pick, a spell, focus, or pouch. Okay, next. Pick a pack. Pick a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper percent. Pick a pack. Pick a pack. And um, what are they going to be? There is explorers. Exploring or dungeoneer. Dungeon. Okay, right, and have I done that? Well, no, no, there's one other thing down here while I'm off doing my little break here. And when I get back, it'll be done. You also need to pick a set of artisan tools with which you are proficient. So you're going to pick some tools. You're going to be proficient with this as well. 
Clan Crafter. Pick tools. Hashtag. Hashtag. Pick tools. Lot of choices, people. Lot of choices. Choices. So you're going to put in your votes. I'll come back, and we'll continue with this. But I need to take a quick five-minute break. So while I'm away and you're doing your thinking and your typing, um, I will be doing my business, and I'll be back in five minutes, maybe a little bit less. Climbing back into the saddle. Here I come, here I come. Climbing back into the saddle. Here I come, here I come. Let us transition over. Do I have myself in the right place? I think so. So we will transition over. We'll go back to our workspace. Let me have a look at the chat. What have you been discussing, people? Um, I think my first choice was the light crossbow. Simple weapon or light crossbow. And it's so far, Noro said spear. Simple weapon. Um, Noro is talking about something else here. We'll come back to that. And let's see what people have said about the weapon options. Dungeons and Chronics has suggested going with... Oh, so Ethan wants spear as well. And... Light Crossbows, Dungeons and Chronics. 
Mm-hmm. Sorcerer Adventurer said the club pouch dungeon. Okay, you've gone with uh, got a couple of votes in there. That's a good. Thank you. Helpful. Uh, don't want to like like crossbow. You have uh, range damage cantrips. That is probably a very good point. A uh, light crossbow seems like a good idea until you have cantrips. Um, it's one of the reasons. So the, the one of the reasons they created cantrips in the first place is because people used to complain and whine that if you were a spellcaster, uh, you, you all you you had like one or two spells you could cast at first level, and then you had to wait till you could get them back, and you were using a bow or a sling to actually make attacks with. So we're gonna go with the spear since there are two votes for the spear. Do we have a spear? There it is, spear it is. Now, my next choice is the the pouch or the arcane focus. How many votes do we get for arcane focus and pouch? Pouch, evil minion, okay. Pouch, pouch, got it. Focus, nor oak, amber crystal, I see you've specified. Okay, um... I'm looking through the votes here. Pouch Sorcerer Adventurer said Pouch. Well, it looks like we are going to be going pouching it. Pouching. Pouching it is. We will pouch it since the, uh, the two new the two new people are saying pouch. We're pouching it, people. Okay, so what is it, our pack? Explorers or Dungeoneers? Um, <clears throat> Explorer or Dungeoneer, and we got here, Norok wants the Dungeoneer. Dungeons and Chronics wants the Dungeoneer. Ethan wants the Dungeoneer. Um, Sorcerer Adventurer wants the Dungeoneer. Okay, you guys have thought about this a bit. Hit my finger with a hammer. You hit your finger with a hammer? No. Just the craft. I think we got too many people who wanted the pouch, so we're going with the pouch for today. Okay. Thank you for joining us, by the way, Just the Craft. So we are locking in a Dungeoneer. That is done. Uh, now, tool. What tool do we are we going with for today? I'm, I'm going to go back through here and look at the tools. Uh, remember, <clears throat> I did read out all the different tools, but if you are unaware, you, you, we'll soon sort, sort it out, not a problem. What's our tool? Are we a tool? Is there a tool? Stone tools. <laughs> stone. How come we keep getting stone tools? You want mason tools? <clears throat> we need the tools, people. Tools, tools, tools. Where's a tool? Where's a tool? Where's a tool? Where's a tool? I'm doing some leather work right now. <laughs> Belt pouches. <laughs> um... Okay, so it looks like we're doing Mason's Tools, because I, I can't think of anything else that you've said here uh, that, I guess, is part of it. So, uh, so Stone Tools, is that is that what we want? Those are the tools, fine. Fine, fine. Done it. Now, be, do, not, do not leave this page until you hit the right button, okay, people? You have to press the button that says, Add Starting Equipment. Otherwise, everything you selected is lost. So you must select this. All the other stuff is set in anyway. We've got our traveler's um, clothes. We get our, our gold, okay, and so forth. But that's fine. But we have to press that button. Otherwise, it's lost. It is now populating it. Now we need to go through here and turn some things on. We need to use the pouch, uh, the backpack. Otherwise, we can't carry anything in it. We need to use the component pouch. So we need to actually carry it. You want to wield the dagger. You don't have to turn on both daggers, but we want to do the calculation. D&D Beyond will calculate what your attack modifier is and your damage output is. Yes, Ethan, it's very important to hit that button. Otherwise, you wind up having to do it all over again. So wield dagger, just one of them, just so we have the, the number for it. We're not necessarily carrying it right now. Do the same for the spear. Everything else is sweet. We're ready to move on. And we will. Just like so. Now, we're going to look at our character sheet, which means, for those of you who are unaware, I'm going to direct you around our character sheet fairly quickly, and then we're going to pick some spells. I'm sorry, you have to pick some spells. Um, probably a good idea to start choosing now. Hashtag. 
pick a cantrip. Now I already talked about what cantrips are probably a good idea for a sorcerer, okay? But you guys, you guys, are, you, ladies and gentlemen, you make the choice here. This is like, this is group character building, okay? This is what happens when you get a whole lot of people in a room and they build the character together. Whatever you get is whatever you get. So, as you can see, all of our ability modifiers are at the top, they're nice and big, so we can see what they are. Charisma, of course, is a plus five, which is huge for a character at this level three. Um, Constitution is a plus three, Dexterity is a plus two. So this is a very broken character. This is going to outperform a lot of other characters, probably. But that's all right, because it's probably never going to get make it to a table. Um, we get our saving throws. Anything with a dot beside it means we are trained and proficient, which means the... Uh, the actual ability score is added to the proficiency bonus, and we get a plus two for that right now. Our speed is 25 feet, so we're using sort of like the old speed version of the dwarf. Nowadays, all races, no matter how big or small, all move 30 feet. Like, it's silly, but it's true. Um, Dungeon um, Dinomancer has selected a Firebolt as the first cantrip to pick up. All our skills are listed down here, all the numbers for it is calculated for you. The little dot beside the skill means you are proficient, which means it will be a bit bigger than normal. So we do have a couple of things here, okay. And we have our passive checks worked out for us, all our proficiencies, you can't see them because my big fat head's in the way. Uh, we have a part with the, the suggestions. That's all right, no problem. Uh, Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost is a spell. Yes, Norak, we could take Ray of Frost. Um, I'm only going to be picking up one damage dealing cantrip, people. Only one damage dealing, dealing cantrip, okay? Because even though you're playing a sorcerer and you kind of it kind of feels like you're playing a blaster, you will not enjoy the game if all you can do is just blast stuff in a battle with your cantrips. You really need to be doing something else. Otherwise, you're sitting back and you won't be doing very much of anything, okay? Uh, message is a good one, sorcerer, um, adventurer. I agree, particularly if you were connecting yourself to the the rogue and they are sneaking ahead. If you do that sort of thing, that is. All right, all of our um, attack bonuses for our dagger and our spear are worked out. Our unarmed strikers are just a a zero. Our spear is a minus two, and our dagger is a plus four. So that's all worked out for us. That's fine. And we're ready to move on, and we're going to look at our spells. So we go over here to spells, and uh, we have to select some spells. So we're going to manage spells, uh, and we need to go to manage and known spells, known spells, no known spells, add spells. Here we go. So we need four cantrips at level three. You get a lot of cantrips at, when you're a sorcerer. Um, so there's some choices coming through here. Shocking grasp, electric grasp. I don't know where you got electric grasp from, but um, I'm assuming you mean shocking grasp. Mending, mage hand, message. Okay, so let's let's go with um, sorcerer, adventurer. I'm going to pick out and take your message option. So we're going to learn message. A very handy spell. Next one. Uh, Mage Hand from Ethan. Mage Hand, we're going to take Mage Hand. You will use Mage Hand. You, in fact, you probably use Mage Hand more than your damage dealing cantrips. Whether you believe it or not, if you know what you're doing with Mage Hand, you will use it more. I've got a video on how to use Mage Hand. Seriously, it's a really good cantrip. Um, mending. Fits the Artisan. Yes, Noroak and Evil Minion, I agree. So we'll take that one. Mending. Where is Mending? Now, Mending is a situational spell, but you can even fix a magic weapon. You can't re-imbue it with magic, but you can fix a broken magic weapon if you wanted to. Mending is a pretty good spell. Now, the damage dealing cantrips. Dynomancer, we'll take your Firebolt, shall we? Firebolt it is. Whether it's Firebolt or something like um, sh um, Shock and Grasp, I don't think it's a too much, uh, not Shocking Grasp, um, Ray of Frost. I don't think it's too much of a big deal. You want a ranged one. Do not pick up Shocking Grasp unless you plan to be in really bad situations all the time. Shocking Grasp is a cantrip designed for when you're up close. So you do not want to be using, now you, I know you can cast Shocking Grasp through your familiar, but your familiar will get toasted unless you have 
the flyby one, which is the owl. And that's a very specific way of doing things. Um, better to go with longer ranged um, cantrips rather than shorter ranged. So our cantrips have been selected. Good. We have four cantrips. Sweet. We need to have some known spells. We get four known spells, and they can be a level one or level two. Okay. So, level one and level two spells. Um, now, where am I? Why am I? Why am I? Why am I going blank here? Why am I going blank here? Why am I going blank? No, no. It is supposed to be level one and level two. So we need some spells of level one and level two. Hashtag. Come on, button. Hashtag. Pick. Level. Level. One or two spells. Now remember, I did sort of state there are some spells you probably should take that are level one. Okay. Yeah, Ethan. I think I think you've made your point. Mending. Um, evil. Minion said the same thing. Nothing. Uh, Noroak said the same thing. So we've we've got mending down. Okay, you can You've got your cantrip set for now. Now we need level one or level two spells. I will read out the level one and level two spells available to you. Enhance ability. Noroak is suggesting enhance ability. It's it's not a, a stupid spell to select. Shield definitely. Evil minion. I will pick up shield. Okay. So we're going, we're going to use shield rather than mage armor. Now, here's the thing you need to realize is although your armor class bonus with shield is better, it only works for run round, whereas mage armor works for eight hours. So what you're trading off is your armor class will be slightly better for one round, whereas mage armor, it's eight hours. So if our dexterity, for example, is our armor class right now is a two, is a twelve, ten plus two for the dexterity modifier, that means if we cast shield, we'll have a seventeen for our armor class during one round. If we have mage armor, we get it for eight hours. We get we start off with a thirteen. We add our dexterity modifier, which is a two. That means we have a dexterity, uh, we have an armor class of fifteen for eight hours. So you have to decide whether it's better to just go with the really low armor class most of the time because we don't wear armor as a sorcerer or do we go with a moderately decent armor class or do we go with just one round we have a decent, uh, a fairly high armor class. Something to consider when you're deciding between shield and mage armor. Um, now it's possible to take both if you really wanted to. Distort values, detect magic. Okay, I can see some um, votes going in here. So we will we'll take we'll take shield. And um, Noroak has said enhance ability. Ah, oh, did I read out these spells? No, I didn't. Um, absorb elements, burning hands, catapult, chaos bolt, charm person, chromatic orb, color spray, comprehend languages, detect magic, disguise self. Distort value, um, earth tremor, expeditious retreat, false life, feather fall, fog cloud, grease, ice knife, jump, mage armor, magic missile, ray of sickness, shield, um, silent image, silvery barbs, God knows that's a terrible spell to be even on the list, sleep, um, Tasha's caustic brew, uh, thunder wave, witch bolt, um, Agnasia's Scorcher, Air Bubble, this is from Spelljammer, I believe, um, Alter Self, Blindness, Deafness, Blur, Cloud of Daggers, my god, the list goes on, uh, uh, Crown of Madness, Darkness, Dark Vision, Detect Thoughts, Dragon Breath, uh, Dust Devil, Earthbind, pretty good spell, but kind of, kind of specific for flying creatures, good against a dragon, um, enhance abil uh, ability. There's the enhance ability. So we'll pick up enhance ability. Found it. Uh, yes, it is. We won't be wearing. We won't be wearing armor. We do. We do not have the ability to wear armor. Armor proficiency won't do us any good if we have a strength of seven. 
So armor proficiency with a mountain dwarf means nothing now. Okay, that's the that's the thing you need to consider when you're building your character. Remember, you're building a sorcerer, um, and the only way to be able to wear armor of that kind of nature, it would have to have a 15 in strength to be able to wear the heavy armor. Um, enlarge, reduce, flame blade, flaming sphere, gust of wind, hold person, invisibility, uh, kinetic jaunt, knock, levitate, magic weapon, uh, Maximilian's earthen grasp, mind spike, mirror image, misty step, and the theater, Nathar's mischief, um, phantasmal force, pyrotechnics, rhymes bind, ice, scorching ray, sea invisibility, shadow blade, shatter, um, the snowball swarm, oh, okay, spider climb, suggestion, Tasha's mind whip, vorte uh, vortex wipe, a warding wind web, weather and bloom. Now you're a sorcerer, you will not get the an option, uh, you will not get an option to, um, sorry, not, you won't get an option, you're a sorcerer, so you don't get that many spells. You need to pick spells you're going to use a lot. You don't want thing, anything that's too specific. If it's too specific, the chances are that it won't come up. That's that's something to consider. Ice knife, poor man's uh, fireball. Ice knife, we can put down ice knife. That's fine. We'll put down ice knife. Where is ice knife? Ice, my knife, my knife, my knife, my knife. And I don't see it. Um, didn't I just read it out? Ice knife. Oh, there you go. Rhymes binding. No, no, that's not it. I don't think ice knife is an option. Not for what, uh, did I see it? Or did I, did I read it out? Binding ice. This is not an option for a sorcerer, uh, as far as I can tell. Unless I am missing, what's it, is that the full name? Ice knife? Or is it something else? Oh, there it is, Ice Knife. There we go. Okay, got it. Okay, that's, uh, so we've got a couple. We need one more. Magic Missile. Ethan says Magic Missile. Yep. First level. Yep. No, no I found it. It took me a little while. Um, Vortex Warp is, is a blast for mobility and battlefield control. Okay, good to know. Let me just have a look and see what people have said. So we've got Enhance Ability. We took shield rather than uh, mage armor. We could take mage armor and shield people. It probably would be quite sensible to do. Detect magic is a good um, good option as well. So dynamance, I see that. Distort value. Um, shatter, yes. Mage armor, Nor Noroak says mage armor. Uh, mage armor, Dungeons and Chronics, it says mage armor as well. We will take shield and mage armor, okay? Magic Missile. So we're going to have to wait to get our Magic Missile a little bit later. It looks to me like Mage Armor is going to be at the top. Remember, Mage Armor, you must cast it at the beginning of the day, people. Do not wait to cast it in the middle of a combat. <laughs> it's a bad time to be doing it. All right, so we've got all our spells sorted out. Isn't that good? That was easy. Sweet as. So we're going to go out of here. If we go to our spells, it will list all our spells here. It tells us what our attack bonus is if we have one. We've got a mage armor mending shield uh, um, message, sorry, for our utility. So that's listed. All of our other spells are listed here. Um, we've got our slots, and uh, we've got a few other things here, which are kind of nice. Okay, cool. So we've got all our spells. Now, we're not finished, though. We're going to do some equipment. We always normally pick some equipment, people. Um, so we're going to go to our equipment, and we're going to buy some stuff. I believe we have a little bit of gold. Uh, how much gold do we have? We have five gold pieces, people. It's not a lot. Don't blow it all. Okay, hashtag pick some gear. Hashtag pick some equipment. Whoops. Five gold doesn't go very far, but you can do you can do it. If somebody says healer's kit, that'll be the end of that. <laughs> that'll be five gold. It's probably not a stupid thing to do. I, I always recommend to people that they, they take the healer's kit. Do you know why? Because anybody can use a healer's kit. You don't have to be trained in medicine. You don't have to be a cleric. You don't have to be a, a specific type of class. Anybody can use it. And instead of having to roll a dice for your medicine check to stabilize somebody in the middle of a battle and get a 10, which isn't that hard, but 
you know, um, it can happen. You can wind up trying to do it with your action and it not being successful. You just use your healer's kit. You pull it out as an interaction. You use it automatically, no dice roll. And one of the things you want to do when you're playing the game, when you're building a character, um, is it's good if you can eliminate dice rolling. The more you can eliminate dice rolling, probably the better off you are. So pick some equipment, people. Pick some equipment. Now, I was talking to um, Col is it Colby? Colby from D4. The, he runs the channel Deep Dive D and D or whatever it is. Who does the um, the character building stuff? And he he's all about reliability and sustainable damage, uh, rather than you know uh, going for the potential supernova. Um, he's looking for reliability. It works most of the time the way you want it to. And it gives you sustainable, reliable damage or effects. And um, I kind of like his approach to seeing things. Uh, for me, I'm always thinking in terms of, and I often build my casters around this, how can I have a caster that doesn't roll too many dice? Because the more dice I have to roll as a caster, the more my valuable spells are lost. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Um, evil minion, I need to fix dinner. No problems. Thank you, evil minion. Okay. Have fun all. Uh, we, I'm sure we will. And thank you for joining with us. It was good to have you here. Um, I want to make um, alchemist's fire. You want alchemist's fire? We might have to steal alchemist's fire. I don't think we can actually buy that. It's pretty expensive, I remember. Alchemist's fire is probably... A flask is 50 gold pieces. No, we're not going to get alchemist's fire. Um, glass vials, yeah, we could do that. A, a vial. <clears throat> one gold piece. So, uh, well, I guess I guess we're getting one. Are we getting five glass vials, or are we getting one glass vial? I think that's the question now. So we'll just take one. We'll we'll put it into our um, our pack. And since we've done that, we're going to have to deduct some gold. We'll remove one gold piece. Okay. Um, Sorcerer Adventurer. A book plus quill turned into ledger also also close. Uh, I don't know if we can if we can find book, I will do book. I think that pens and inks tend to be quite expensive. Which you means you're either gonna have to save up or you're gonna have to steal it. Uh, preferably if not from your own party. Okay. Book. There's a book here. We can get a book. 25 gold. No, 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 no. We're not getting a book for 25 gold pieces, though. Is this the uh, poetry historical? Oh, no, no. That's not going to be an option. No book for us. Um, what else? You said here a quill. I'll type in quill and see what we get. Quill. Has it got a quill? No. Um, is it a pen? Can we get a pen? Ink pen, ink pen, scribes pen. The ink pen is doable. We can get an ink pen. We just don't have any ink. <laughs> the backpack. And she goes. We won't even try to deduct money for that thing because I know, I know what'll happen. It just it just won't work. Um, so that's uh, that's that one. <laughs> so we've got our our a quill, which is basically a pen. Um, the pole. Yes, Ethan. I agree. Now. I have a whole video series that talks about how to use basic adventuring gear uh, in your game. I, I recommend learning a bit about how to do that. So we're going to put that in our pack as well. It's cool. It's uh, it's pretty cheap. I'm not even going to bother deducting money for that. Who cares? So we've got the 10-foot pole. Dinomancer, you've got a bag of sand. Sand. Can we get sand? A little bag of sand. There is a little bag of sand. You are in luck. And it doesn't apparently have a, a cost because a bag probably costs nothing and the sand you can get from the beach. So we've got a bag of sand now. Well done. You actually selected something, Dynomancer, that costs not a cent. What about flour? Can we get flour? Apparently no flour. No flour for you. You have to steal it. Parchment might be a bit expensive. Parch. Parchment is usually a bit of a problem, if I remember right. Parchment. One sheet of parchment. Oh, we can do parchment. Um, we'll get ten of them, eh? And then, dump. And put in our pack. 
and we'll deduct some money. One more gold piece gone. Bam. So we've got three gold left. It's going, it's getting somewhere. It's going quick. Water skin. Do we actually need a water skin? Because so I think something to bear in mind is our pack may already include what we've got, a water skin. If it's the right type, of, yeah, we've already got a water skin. We don't need another water skin. We'll be fine. Um, wax. Wax. Sorcerer Adventurer, you are surprised. Yes, a book is very expensive. Uh, much to my surprise too. 25, is, 25 gold pieces is a lot. Uh, but if we go to the adventuring location, this tends to happen though in uh, in this sort of thing. When you look, when you're using the character builder, your dungeon master probably won't charge anywhere near that. A book on page 150 of the player's handbook for 5e. You'll see the word book. And beside book, it says that's five pounds. So it's a big book. And it's 25 gold pieces. So it's a pretty impressive book. <clears throat> I feel like this book, you could throw at somebody and it might potentially kill them. Do you know what I mean? It's a book. Well done. Well done, Wizards of the Coast. The only book you can buy is 25 gold pieces. Wax. Wax is always used. Sealing wax is a pretty useful thing to have. So we'll get some sealing wax. And add that in our pack. I think we might have to deduct another gold because I think we've already spent a little bit of... No, no, did we? Is there anything that even half a gold piece? No, not really. I think we can keep going. Fun, affordable stuff is hard to do, yes. Indiana Jones taught me about uh, sand. That's right. Yes, if you want uh, a good lesson in Dungeons and Dragons um, exploring and, uh, and, and what to take with you, uh, Indiana Jones. Raiders of the Lost Ark is where we want to start, baby. All right, so how how are we doing, people? Are you are you are you stumped as to what else to get? Should I should I should I select some things myself? Um, we've got a couple of couple of coins left on, on us. Um, I believe we could get a ball and bag of ball bearings just to make life somebody's life difficult. That would be quite fun. Caltrops are one gold piece. Caltrops. Never go go anywhere without Caltrops, baby, because you just don't know how much you will need them. So we're going to have a bag of Caltrops. Why are they listing it as bundle size 20? Caltrops here in the in the book is... Cacacal. I'm blind. Blind as a bat. Caltrops 20. One gold piece. Okay, so that's bundle size. I want the bundle size, don't I? Give me the bundle. In the pack. In the pack, baby. And we'll duck some money. It's another gold piece gone. Another one bites the dust. Bam. We got uh, two gold pieces left. That, that was that was easy. Um, right, what do you... Uh, chalk. Yep, fine powder. Chalk is a good idea. Chalk's always a nice thing to have. Chalk has many different uses. Marking a location, making it easy to grip something, various things like that. We are going to grab a whole bunch of that. We can give a piece to everybody then. You will run run out of it fairly quickly if you actually use it. I'm not going to bother deducting money for it though. Um, yeah, we'll do the same as flour. That's that's true. Um, a whole lot of chalk would do the same sort of thing. Uh, no, no. It's it, it, in the player's handbook. It literally says the word book on page 150. And that is 25 gold pieces. Okay. So if there's a different book, you're looking at a different book, the book that I'm looking at. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. It was just too tempting. <laughs> um, uh, lies of coal. Yes, we could go coal. Um, it's like a, a nasty present to leave behind. Charcoal. Coal. Charcoal. We might not. Even, you might have to get some out of an, uh, a fire. You might have to pick it out of the fire, people. Charcoal. Charcoal. No, you can't buy charcoal, but you can make your own charcoal. Uh, an arcane focus as an emergency backup. Fine. We go with a focus. Now, what sort of focus could we have? 
uh, we don't have enough money to buy any of the focuses, so that will not be an option. Um, good idea, good idea, but not going to be an opportunity because we only have two gold and there's nothing for two gold in terms of an arcane focus. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to suggest probably things you would want to add in here as did we or do we have rope we won't be able to afford rope anyway will we because rope is still relatively expensive even if it's hemp rope hemp rope is still an expensive product hemp rope no no we can get rope we we'll get rope i'm pretty sure we don't already have rope but if we do have rope that's great ropey rope 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 where is it ah we have hemp rope we don't need to worry about that that's all good all right Okay, so we've got a little bit of money on, the, on, our, on our hands. We don't have to spend everything. I think we have done enough. I think we have, we've spent some money, we've bought some gear, we've got a few different items, we've got a couple of gold point coins left over if we really want to worry about that for later on, and we've built our character. Now, if you need to do anything with this character, go over to the name of the character where it says, there's a little button that says Manage, and it will allow you to scroll down here. You can change a lot of different things. You can short rest, long rest, it can create a shareable link if you're using uh, this character with your dungeon master on some sort of app or computer program. But there's also the export to PDF. So you have an option to turn this into a PDF if you need to. You can also change the sheet appearance. So you don't have to stay with the same sheet appearance if you don't like it. Everything in here is adjustable. Um, you just need to go back to the right place. Okay, it's not, it's not fixed in concrete. Bedding, I believe we have a bed roll. Um, I think you'll find that we do still actually have a bed roll in amongst our bits and pieces. So, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, a little bag of sand, pouch, da 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 bed roll. Does it have a bed roll? No, maybe we don't have a bed roll. Apparently not. There is no bed roll. Well, we'll get a bed roll. We can't not have a bed roll. That would be bad. Bed roll. Bed roll. What does our bedroll look like? Yep, we can add that. Add it. In the pack. Deduct some money from our currency. Go into the currency, go one gold, remove it. One gold piece left. Okay, we've got a bedroll. Well done. Good one. Good point. We need somewhere to sleep, something to sleep on. We were unencumbered, so we're not over our weight. So that's all right. So we're not, uh, not going to freak out about anything now. Are we? No, we're not. Cool. Lovely. All right, well, thank you for joining me for this week's um, live stream on character building. Uh, today has been interesting. We have, again, managed to build a character within the time frame up to level three. We will continue building level three characters because that is my intention, is to get us from starting with level one, then up to level three. And if we can make it happen, we'll do level five. That might be a bit more difficult because there's more choices to make. And with all the feedback coming through from the live chat, that might take longer, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'm kind of curious how the poll turned out before I disappear. So let's have a look. Uh, what do you like about the sorcerer? And I said here, unexplained power. 26% said that's what they like. Okay, out of 19 votes. Raw magic, 32%. Mechanics, 26%. Something else, 16%. Interesting. Interesting. All right, I'm going to close that off. So we'll be back next week, same time. What will we be building? We will probably be building a barbarian or a martial class. We've done a couple of the magic users recently. We will probably be going back to doing that. Um, and then tomorrow's live stream will be the core basic rules for Dungeons and Dragons. We'll be covering, I'm covering uh, same time tomorrow, I'll be covering the core rules and it's complex combat mechanics. That's some more complicated stuff that I didn't explain in the basic combat stuff uh, that we did last week. Okay. Um, again, uh, thank you for for uh, being here. That was uh, that was fun. We had I had a good time. Did you? <laughs> anyway, I just want to say thank you to all of my patrons and supporters. Uh, the patrons are what make this live stream possible every single week because it's a weekly thing that is done specifically to get you building characters together and if you're new to help you out okay 
and giving you a little bit of advice along, along the way. That's why it is here. It's also an excuse to hang out, roll dice, and be silly. Um, so thank you to my patrons who support that sort of thing. Thank you to everybody who's been part of the live stream, particularly to those of you who have been taking part in the live stream and communicating with me, such as Dungeons Chronics, Sorcerer Adventurer, uh, Noroak, who's a patron. Um, also, I want to say a big thank you to Dynomancer, who's also a patron. And then we also had some new people uh, show up today, um, Ethan S., and I believe we had Evil Minion, and was there somebody else? Have I missed anybody else? I think that was everybody who was here today. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who took part in the live chat. I do appreciate it. So thank you for what, uh, watching my live streams and participating um, in, the, in the community. Uh, thank you for watching the replays, the live streams, the edited videos, and putting up with the shorts videos. I kind of have to do them. Um, so wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, or the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. Ah, uh, so Paul, your question, is it good? Is it good to spread the skill proficiencies out or concentrate on the charisma ones and really boost them high? That is up to you, Paul. That is up to you. It doesn't actually matter. It has nothing, it's none of anybody's business how you do it. Everything that I present here today are guides and recommendations. They are not set in concrete. You can ignore all of it. Perfectly fine with me, okay? It's not my business how you do that. All I'm doing is giving you a basic guide. Now, when it comes to skills in a sorcerer, sorcerer is fairly versatile. You can kind of do what you like. It's kind. It's nice to have one skill that is charisma focused, but you really don't need any more than that. 